Mirasol School is based in Paisley. It's a school which caters for youngsters from the ages of 5 through to 18 with additional support needs. Health and wellbeing is very much central to what we do here in Mary Russell School. Curriculum for Excellence says that health and wellbeing should be everyone's responsibility and that is very much the case here. It's not just about physical wellbeing but also the mental, social and emotional wellbeing of our young people. The course that we currently have, which is sort of our senior phase two, is very much about preparing young people for life after school. The design principles of Curriculum for Excellence are very much key to what we do, ensuring that we do cover all the seven areas, um, but focusing particularly on choice, uh, personalisation, that allows our young people to decide where they're going in their learning um, and what they want to find out about. It was very, very clear to me that the children were learning in isolated situations across the curriculum and I wanted them to bring all their learning together and to use these skills um, so that they could actually apply them to the situations they'll face once they've left school because in the past everything was handed to our children and I wanted them to learn to seek out their own um, information so they could make their own informed decisions. In maths we do like, like your own banking and how to use your own, how to deal with your own money, like bills and stuff, if you get your own house. They could use these skills, for example, in running their own bank accounts. I wanted them to learn that when they're learning about health and eating, that they could apply these skills to living healthily and uh, making good choices when they were shopping and when they were maybe feeding themselves and their families in the future. I wanted them to know that there was PE didn't just happen in school timetables, but um, they may well be faced with lots of leisure time and that if they had the opportunity to experience wide, wide ranges of activities so they could make choices that would encourage them to take maybe even minimum exercise in a week and therefore improve their overall health and well-being. This year we've been studying about poverty. One of the, the countries that we were learning about poverty was, I think it was in, India. We saw a film about that as well and it kind of gave you an idea of what it was, life was like in that poverty area. It taught you how fortunate I am to live in this country where I have clean water, how good housing conditions and like a roof over my head and that. What they could contribute to society, either locally or globally, could make a difference to how they felt about themselves and how they also approached other people. This year's helped me because it's made me become more confident, handle more money carefully and become more responsible. The course is delivered over a whole morning. And every member of staff who's involved in delivering the course are all timetable to be involved in the course at the same time. The barriers are sometimes that it's more difficult to get staff together to plan for that. So we've set aside time within class staff, non-class contact time. The course does run over two years, but we have our same themes going through the two years. We, we get together as a department and we, we have evaluated every topic as we finish it. So we look at our evaluations, what worked, what didn't work. We asked our students what they wanted to learn and um, we take on board their, their interests and things, that, topics they would like to learn about. The course itself demonstrates that young people are much more able to take on responsibility being much more independent in their learning. And I think that's coming out in some of the things we're asking them to do in the senior phase. They, they themselves, they will ask to take on board certain, certain activities and tasks and they'll plan for them and they will, they'll drive them forward. The benefit of this, this approach, especially in the senior phase, is that our students are included in the decision making and they're also included in the course as it develops. And um, what we notice is um, we have a higher attendance at school on days when these activities are to the forefront. And we have a community of students who actually have a huge depth of understanding about world issues and about issues that affect themselves. There is no doubt that uh, our interdisciplinary approach in Mary Russell is about preparing young people for life after school ensuring that the skills for life learning and work um, are very much taught and embedded in what, everything that we do. I feel very strongly that young people um, in Mary Russell, in terms of independence, responsibility and preparation, are very much the key aims of what we try to do. And the health and well-being aspect of that, which permeates everything that we do in the curriculum, is very much key to, to that as well.